All right, welcome back to the uh, 3D Creator channel, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy it. Uh, so, I just had a thought that uh, I'm a little bit into uh, being fit, and I was thinking I don't have any kettlebells, and they must make a handle so I can put like uh, barbell plates on a kettlebell. And so I just did a quick Google search, and I see a bunch of options. So this one is much like I was envisioning. And but then I realized I can uh, make my own out of uh, nylon, and it'll probably only cost me twice as much as if I bought one, <laughs> not counting labor. So uh, I decided that I'll make a quick tutorial. I'm going to make my own. I have a vision for how I can make one in 3D print it, and I'll print it out of uh, nylon, so it's pretty strong, and I don't drop weights on my head. Um, and most kettlebell stuff is isn't overhead anyway. So, start with a new document, go to the front plane. I thought I had renamed these planes, but anyway, whatever. Not a big deal. So, the hole needs to be, this is just going to be a reference geometry. The hole needs to be, I think a barbell, is, I just looked it up yesterday, I believe it said like 1.96 inches. And so... I'll say 1.9 inches, 16th under, just to be on the safe side. Obviously, I don't want it too far under because then it's uh, more and more cantilevering. I'd rather be in sheer than in cantilever, but it'll work. All right, so uh, basically, let's have some, uh, left, some more reference geometry. So here's this guy and let's do this to represent the handle and how wide do I want the handle I want it let's see how wide is my hand in the tape measure my hand is just about probably my hand about four inches wide so if the straight part is four inches wide and then the plus the curves, I should be able to grab it with two hands. Let's make it uh, f let's make it four and a half inches wide. All right, and then I'll do a tangent arc. Tangent arc, fighting me. There we go. And uh, and then just a line. Also tangent. And this is going to be let's call this uh, one and a quarter, one point two, just sort of arbitrary. Um, I almost wanted this to be a little bit of an arc, just for I think it'll be a little stronger that way, but it'll be fine. Um, and this diameter, I'm going to just, I mean this radius. I'll adjust it. I'm just going to put a dimension on it so it doesn't shrink on me when I drag it. And let's see. I want let's do this. And so I, what I realized, I want to. I need to print this on its side because I want the layer lines to be like when I don't want the weight I don't want uh, the direction of gravity to be the direction of the layers if that makes sense I don't want the layers parallel with the ground is what I'm getting at so I want to print it laying down so that way it'll be a lot stronger and but the problem with that is the flange that holds the the sports the weight I want it to be a full circle and I, and I also don't want to print a bunch of uh, support material so what I've decided is I'm going to print it in two halves and then join them so let's say this needs to be uh, two point two point three I mean any more than that is just overkill well Actually, I'll, maybe I'll taper it a little bit. So let's say 
and, and I'm, this is just like I say this is just sort of uh, reference geometry let's actually though Uh, yeah, no. This is just going to be a, ge a reference sketch, and then I will. I I did that uh, on a thing yesterday. I'm always evolving my workflows, and I did. I, yesterday I did a layout sketch and then projected geometry from it. Uh, it mostly worked good, other than the too many dimensions on it throwing me off a little bit, but that's fine. All right, so this is going to be. I'm going to make this half inch thick. I just want it plenty thick. That's all. So I think half inch thick of solid, <laughs> or or near solid, not near solid. I don't know. Maybe fifty percent in fillers, something like that. Uh, should be nice and strong. I could theoretically, I could do some uh, finite element analysis just to figure out where the stresses are. But it's going to be obvious to me where the stresses are going to be. So no sense in doing that. And I also, I don't know if you saw the other video I did of some hooks that to hang a barbell from to store it and a 45 pound barbell and so for that I used I did some FEA um, just to find the just to get a basic idea even though it's a plastic so it's not a linear uh, stress strain curve so I can't really do accurate uh, sort of failure prediction on uh, as far as at what weight it would fail but what I could do is at least see where the highest stresses were and apply a very strong factor of safety to it so I knew it was plenty overkill and it works great and it's been holding my barbell up on and off for I don't know months now um, at least a month anyway so let's see if I want to put let's say I want to put up to I have a bunch of 10 pound plates and I'm going to measure one of those plates. Alright, the plates are about uh, 15 sixteenths, so I'm just going to call it an inch. And if I want to do 50 pounds, that would be 5 inches. Seems like uh, if I need heavier than a 50 pound kettlebell, uh, I'll be like a pro bodybuilder and be able to afford a real one not anyway I don't want to be a pro bodybuilder this ah getting notifications must be my uh, hockey team chat oops game game night Pre-game message, I imagine. Let's make this guy bigger. Ah. Let's uh, extend this guy and make these equal. There we go. And let's trim that back and do a... Uh, uh, radial transition there. Uh, is that a good idea? Maybe. We'll, we'll find out. Alright, so I think I want that even bigger. I want this to be like now this might be a little bit longer than I want, so I may make it you know, it might be too far off the ground. And I could use my 25 pound plates instead. And those are about, I'm just looking about an inch and a half. So let's, I'll make it three inches instead of five inches. Let's call that uh, 40. I'm going to call it 60. It'll just make the whole thing look shorter. And I'll make this three. And we'll make this say one for now. And this needs to be coincident with this. And uh, 
Ah. That is incorrect, because it's going to be more like this. And depending on that diameter, so let's, uh, what I call this, 1.2. So let's offset this by 0.6. For some reason, my numpad acts funny with SolidWorks. So this is going to be here. Tangent and okay, and let's do this. All right, and so now I will put a sketch here. for my sweep and control uh, control shift s is sweep on my computer I recommend anybody use my shortcut keys nobody ever asked for them <laughs> if somebody asked for them I'll give them I have a very uh, well thought out shortcut keys uh, selection menager and uh, I'm going to do this and the tangents and the tangents okay and uh, that looks good. I don't want it to merge. Uh, ah, it's the first body, so it's not giving me the merge option. That's fine. And then we'll want to mirror this guy. Bodies. It's funny, the uh, this acts different sometimes. Sometimes there's a checkbox there, sometimes there's not. I don't understand why it would be different, but it is. Alright, and uh, that's fine if they merge. And then I'm going to put a sketch here. Extrude this up to here. Yes, I don't yet know I, that was dumb. I don't yet know how I'm going to secure this. Ah. Oh. Let's, let's make this guy tangent. And then extrude up to here. Merge is fine. Uh, what happens if I try to fill it this? Looks pretty good. Can I go bigger? Oh. There we go. And this. And this. No, not that one. Not that one yet. Nice. Can I grill this? Alright, doesn't look anything bigger than that. That's uh, perfect enough. And... No, I'm going to do the front plane. And uh, turn on my... Oh, I did that. Show this guy. Show my sketches. Uh, select chain. G for project geometry, L for line, T for trim, V for revolve, Y for chamfer, perfect. And, but, how do I get the weights on? That's what I have not yet decided. I could make a thread inside might be kind of annoying to have to unthread it, but I gotta scare it one way or another. So, it'd be nice if I could just have like a release button somehow. How could I do that? 
and how could I have it not accidentally release? Uh, I could... Uh, I mean, I, it could get a little complicated. I could... Make, somehow make a button on the end. It would be awkward to push a button on the end. I could have it tapered like a almost like a reverse collet like on a blind bearing puller so on a blind bearing puller you have sort of reverse collet so you have these uh, like a three jaw type of deal often three jaw and that's uh, taking a while uh, but anyway so it's uh, split and so you expand it by oh this is different than mine I think anyway it, either way you get out this wedge here that uh, drives the two halves apart and so I could potentially do something like that I don't know if that's really going to make my life any better probably easier to just uh, screw it in but I want some features to grab it by uh, yeah I can just tip it over and just give myself a nice generous Acme thread. I was going to say I don't even have to turn it in very far but it's better if I do turn it in far so that way it doesn't come apart in use um, hmm Hmm. Hmm. I mean, first of all, I'm going to back up to before this because I think what I want to do is put a sketch here, put a circle here, and all on. I'm basically going to make finger dents. Is that the right term? I don't know. The right term escapes me. Uh, I forgot to do... Uh, I could do Alt-V for... Uh, revolve Cut. So Alt-V, Revolve Cut. Bam. So now I have something to grip by. Oh, it's smaller though. should be quite user friendly. Uh, let's do this. Let's put this guy back, reduce it. Just want to knock that edge off. Okay, I'm going to revolve around that. So, circular pattern, I should say. Revolve around this guy. And features will be this guy and this guy. And that's looking pretty good. Looks like a gas cap for a dirt bike, kind of. Which is interesting. I made a video about that one time. Because somebody on Reddit asked how to, how to model it. And so it's a pretty good video on that if you want to see. And I made it much more complex than this because I, I made it simple first and then I made made it more and more complex to show how I could make it less sort of circular everywhere and more tapered and things. That was an interesting little video. I kind of want to put a... I just don't want to necessarily don't want a sharp edge here, but I don't want to cut the whole thing away either. So I'm just going to go like 25,000, just a tiny little radius. 
just to knock the corner off a little bit. Um, and so now I need to separate it. All right, so I just saved it, and all right, so this I, I'm just going to put a thread right up the middle. I'm going to go to uh, Crackmaster Car and download a th Acme thread. <laughs> I almost typed in Crackmaster Car, and I'm totally, totally uh, stealing a line from Ave, who multiple people have said they think I'm him, which is funny, and I'll take it as a compliment because he's funny. And uh, it's evidently a pretty skilled uh, machinist and stuff. Anyway, threaded rods. I want uh, Acme. Acme. Lead screws and nuts. And I want a pretty heavy duty one because this thing, like I say, it's. Uh, so the bigger the diameter I go with the thread, the stronger it's going to be. And. You know, as long as I... Well, actually, so to optimize it... All right, we'll do a little trick here. I'm going to decide what... What... Will be the correct... What will be the ideal diameter. So, if I have... 1.9... So basically, I want to split the area and then subtract half of the thread height. I'll just get it close enough. And so if I call this, I think it's going to be like 75%, 70 percent of that. So let's say, and that'd be interesting if it was because circle is like 70% uh, of a square. If that makes sense, but <laughs> doesn't. I didn't say that correctly, probably, but it's somewhere around there for what I mean, not what I said. In any case, uh, let's see. So there'd be 1.9. It'd be 95. That'd be 45-ish, 47.50. But 40, 42. I'm gonna say 42. Point 42. Point 42. I want a point forty two less than one ninety, so that'd be uh one fifty one forty five let's say one forty five. <laughs> point one forty five. Having a hard time with my decimal places here. Point one forty five. One point forty five. I'm still having a hard time. One point forty five. And then we extrude that. And then I put um Interestingly, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And I'll make a sensor. I don't know if you're familiar with sensors. So the sensor allows me to display area. There we go. And I don't care that it's in metric because they're both going to be the same. And that's all that matters. I just want half of the area. Make a sensor out of that area. And so now up here, my sensors. I have 1829 and 1065. That's actually right where I want to be because I basically want this to be half half of this basically, but this is assuming this is like the major diameter of the thread. So the minor diameter would be even a little less, and I'm gonna call that just about right. Perfect enough, as I like to say. And except for I need this to be actually I don't need it to be a regular size because I could just scale up or down. But, uh, so, I mean, one and a half inch, one and a half inch should work out, right? Work out, get it? <laughs> uh, so, one and a half inch, one and a half inch, five or four, I mean... Five would be a finer thread. I mean, I don't know. My laundry alarm. All right. Uh, it's going to be me at 12. 
12 inch. Uh, I don't like that they moved. I don't like that they changed the way the downloads are. I used to like them down here. In any case, what are you doing? Okay, there's that. And I'll do the same with a nut. I'm not sure if they do, how accurate these threads are. Uh, but I want to find out right now. Or at least I'll find what the clearance is. I don't know that it'll be accurate or not. And I want uh, one and a half, five. And uh, I don't care what style. So any of these should do. Oh, thread fit. 2G. 2G, 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 2G. All right, they're all 2G. So, okay, whatever that means. <coughs> I mean, I know it's the clearances between the male and female threads. And why did nothing happen? I'll download that guy. And open it. And I will create an, uh, an assembly just to put them both in it. Aha! Let's rotate this guy by 90. I mean, I guess I could have just done a, what I'm going to do anyway. That's not going to be circular. I mean, yeah, that, that should that should uh, meet concentric noise, and then a section view. Not that way. Actually, that way almost works, but it's fine. Uh, that looks like a tight fit. So, yeah, that's just too tight. So, I'm saying that this is not precise. Uh, what is this outside diameter? Exactly one and a half. So, on the real thing, I imagine it would be smaller. In any case, I am just going to make it work. So, I am going to, oops, I am going to, that's still not where I want to be. Alright, so I'm going to insert this part, and then I'm going to, you can do the move from within the insert part command, but it's another case of I prefer to do it manually. For my own well reasoned reasons. Let's add that and let's put this guy to here but at a distance of uh, uh, what's going on? Oh, flip dimension. There we go. there. Okay. And I'm going to copy this guy. Translate, rotate. Copy is checked. Okie doke. And I'm going to hide this guy for now. The original one. And I want to, yeah, it's just a baiting, oh, for one, I want to move it down, actually, I can do that, uh, well, I'll move it up, actually, just because 
because uh, I want like a thread of clearance up here so it, it fits all the way in and so I'm going to move it upwards translate it in the positive y direction by one thread pitch which is five per inch so that's point two and did that take why did that seem like it didn't to do what I wanted because it didn't that was weird point two okay and then hopefully I can do a move face here move face and here let's call it offset so I don't break it and we're gonna call it uh, point oh one five hmm oh ah you going the wrong way I can't go the other way <coughs> I mean, can I go just one way? Huh. Can I just go uh, translate? I wonder if it's because of the ends. If I go, just to make it easy for me to re realign it, but if I take a whole inch off, now can we do it? <laughs> that goes way back. This thing I used to play on the radio. Alright, uh, what is that? Ah, that's uh, money money calling likely all right anyway uh move face and offset by 0.01 huh ah i know what i can do though haha <laughs> All right, first let's uh, I need to adjust this to go up 1.1 instead of I'm sorry 1.2 instead of 0.2 because I cut an inch off the end and even though it didn't work I'm not going to bother redoing it. So, but what I can do now here is is just copy it up and down. But first, uh, first I will offset. First I'll move face on this to increase the diameter. Offset by point zero two five. What? I thought that I thought it let me do that before. Oh, it doesn't think I selected anything. That was weird. Okay. Point oh two five. Why are you flipping? That was weird, but that's fine. Point oh two five should be plenty, and also not too much, which is important. <coughs> okay, and so now, since it won't let me offset that, I'm just going to copy it up by. up by fifteen thousandths. So point oh one five and that time the decimal point does take with my numpad, which is very strange that it does that. But it's fine. And then I am going to 
roll back to before this so I don't accidentally select the wrong one. Select this guy again. This time go down. Minus 0.015, minus 0.015. Copy. Roll past that. Combine these. Hopefully it lets me combine them. I imagine it will. Sometimes it won't. It's thinking hard. Holy cannoli. This is funny because I was like, I goofed off all morning and I was like, oh, it's one o'clock. I gotta start working. And then I was like, ooh, I can do something that I'm not gonna make money at instead. Ah, and they did not like to join. I hope it lets me subtract them. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, I need a copy of that. Yes. Copy that. Roll to before the copy. Hide the original. Roll to after the copy. That's a ancient Chinese secret that I developed just now. And actually worked out super smoothly. Ancient Chinese secret. That's uh, old commercial. Showing my age. Old commercials. Old radio bits. Old commercials. Old man. That's alright. I feel young. I'm going to play hockey tonight. I scored two goals Wednesday night, so I'm, I guess I'm not too old. All right. Uh, subtract. I forgot where I was for a second. So I fear that it's not going to let me subtract all three of these because it didn't let me sub didn't let me combine them. So in theory, it shouldn't let me subtract them either. But maybe a lot of times the solution in SolidWorks is to do something different. And uh, cut this guy out of the way. Alright, so we have our handle part threaded. And let's hide that guy and show this guy. And cut this. Didn't make the circle big enough, but that's very easy to remedy. All bodies. Instant 3D. Bam! And show this guy again. And subtract this portion of it. The extra. And from that guy. And then uh, combine these guys. And we are good. Ah, I did that wrong. Need to select add. Select both. I kind of want. I'm thinking I want to reduce the stress riser. Like right here. I'm just thinking of how to best do that. And I am going to just. Extrude 0.5 and uh, put this at like 60. <coughs> oh, I'm at 30, but we'll call it 45. Merge result. So that should help with a little bit there. And I'm going to radius this too. That's kind of neat. And no, no, that's a bad idea. How about this guy, though? No, that's a bad idea. Okay. And haha. Uh... <laughs> Ready? 
and show this guy and uh, let's throw some uh, colors on it Oops. section view, turn off my sketches how are we looking? so this shadow is misleading there's more clearance there so the, oh I did not realize that these were lined to, I thought they weren't oh, <laughs> I didn't use the nut I used the uh, total uh, user malfunction there can I just uh, move face on that now from here? Can I just do this? Not making the perfect model, but that is what I'm point oh two five flip. Uh, that's good. Well. face hmm oh, I'm going to hit S for save and uh, is this uh, yeah, that was weird that's better uh, let's go to back to roll back to before this combine and before these two and for this one too, I guess. And ah, wrong one. And it's going to let me move this face out. I'm afraid it won't. <coughs> hmm. Duh. This is so easy to fix. <coughs> I mean, I'm just going to call it close enough. surface so now if I had to take the same section so now we have some clearance we have clearance clearance what's your vector Victor Roger Roger I like old references if you've not seen airplane the movie you are missing out. That is some must see. Trip there with uh, Caddyshack. And if you haven't seen Caddyshack, I mean, what rock have you been loading under? Alrighty, and uh, ugh, I kind of made a mess out of that. Uh. Yeah. Total uh, cheated here. And Alt V, Revolve Cut on this guy. And we know I no longer have an interference. And I guess I'll put a little bit of a radius on here. Alrighty then. And uh I 
I'm just going to do this for the fun of it. Is that on the center? Looks like it. We'll call this two. And we'll call this, uh, I don't know, 10 pounders. Got to be about 10 inches. Maybe nine. And it's like an inch. Actually, it was like 0.88. No, that's point like 0.93. And don't merge. <coughs> and that should play nicely. I'm liking it. All right, but let's roll back to before this guy. But I need to split them in half and somehow join them. So I can print them flat in order to make them much stronger. So let's just simply uh, and I'm going to cheat and I'm going to take a ten thousandth of an inch right out of both from the mid plane. And that's going to be uh, 0 0.0001 mid plane on both. Keep them all. All right, so now I have split them. All right, uh, how am I going to join them? How? I need uh, some sort of uh, pins. Let's uh, create a plane off of here. Ah, that's just the direction. Flip offset. Call it an inch for now. I could adjust that later. Put a sketch on there. And make myself some sort of uh, dowel pins, preferably with a capturing feature. Let's start by creating it. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I don't like blue because I can't see my lines very well. But I don't like yellow because then I can't see my control points very well. And then I don't like, uh, yeah, all the colors are problematic. In any case, let's do this. And oops, no, I don't want ah, uh, stupid. <clears throat> let's do this. And a little barb. And we'll put a little bit of an angle on it this way as well. And I'm gonna get rid of this blue. Okay, <coughs> let's call this. It doesn't need to be huge, but. Let's call this uh, quarter inch. Ain't going anywhere. And let's make this in line with this. Uh, that's going to get rounded a little bit, and I might actually lose a little bit of that, but it's fine. <coughs> and let's make this groove. Let's call it. I'll call it 20 for now, and may want to increase it, let's call it 30 for now. And let's give this angle as, 
I'm gonna call it five degrees. Just give it a really steep, <coughs> really st uh, shallow angle. Or it depends how you look at it. Whoa. So this one, I don't really care about that one. What I care about, what's the problem? What I care about is this one. <coughs> so let's call that, let's call it 10 because it needs to lead in a little bit. And then this guy does not have to be parallel to it. Ah, or perpendicular to that more accurately. I don't understand why the line disappeared. Probably because I did it. Didn't mean to. Uh, yeah, this... this uh, let's call it that. <coughs> Alrighty. And... Let's say this goes, the deeper this goes, the better the lead-in is going to be, so let's call it that, that may be a little too much, oops, okay, I'll call this, uh, And I'm just going to do this. <coughs> then I'm going to revolve this guy and then mirror it. Don't merge. Tab to hide all that stuff. Hover and tab. Uh, mirror. So it's taken me an hour now. So it's called me, cost me a small fortune so far because I could have been working instead. And bodies to mirror. But this is I'm having more fun this way. But no, not plan one. Why can't I, uh, is that not, is this like, not horizontal? Why would it be not horizontal? Is this, uh, not vertical? That's vertical. <coughs> why, why, uh, why line? Why? So this is, uh, on something that I'm not aware of. So that's fine. I'll show you. Okay. Now, I should be able to mirror on this surface. Mirror this body. Merge the solids. <coughs> okay. Now. Do I want it to sort of uh, split? Yeah. I think the nylon will give enough that if I really pound it together, it'll work. I'll have to do a test piece, test coupon for that. What I do want to do is come over to the right plane, create a rectangle using this as my bounds. And there's method to my madness here. See, I don't need this pin to be full 
360 degrees. I can mid plan two inches auto cover it. Auto select. Everything else is hidden, so it'll work. Ah, flip side to cut. Noise. So now that'll print nicely. <coughs> and hopefully I can pound that in. I think so. Uh, oh, before that, I need to copy it. Uh, yep. And back up to before this, and hide this, and then roll forward to after it. And so here's my copy. And so this guy. I want to move all these faces out by, let's say, 0 0.01. So this can make for a pretty tight fit. Hopefully it'll go in. And the ridge will overlap and catch, I hope. Like I said, we'll have to do a test on this. So, there's that. And let's show all these bodies. First need to hide them, then I can show them. <coughs> and uh, first of all, let's move this plane up. Ooh, this might be a little big for the handle part. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, move copy bodies. Put this down to here. Copy. And, uh, oops. Let's hit S for save. So I changed it to S instead of Control S because Control S is just a little more effort, and so just being S just so it makes it so easy for me to just save often because it's very important to save often because stuff happens, ugly stuff happens. Did I make it? To, oh, I did make it to fit in there. Nice. Ooh, does it fit within the threads? Uh, yep, okay. Uh, oh, I should have included these ends. No. Okay. Be difficult. See what I care. How'd that happen? Move face. Edit. And that guy, and that guy, and roll to end. <coughs> uh, well, that's that guy, but I know I don't want to go before that. And shift tab, oops, shift tab to show stuff again. I mean, does that not work in section mode? Interesting. Doesn't work in section mode. In any case, let's check this again. Alright, that looks good. Uh, oh. Uh, I 
go. And all right, so that looks good. This guy, I don't need it to be perfect. Centered, I mean. Don't copy that. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, I do want that copy. I do want that copy. Um, and from here, the one thing I want to do here. Put a little bit of a radius on there. What I mean by that, I will show you. What I mean is like here. Oops. Ah, oh, interesting. Right, so now. Uh, less likely to make any pinchy feelings. Uh, it's, that's a little more aggressive than I was thinking, but it's kind of no harm done, I think. Uh, yeah, I can even make it bigger. Can I? Or not? Let's call it that. I like it. Let's do the same thing on this guy. And the other way. So section the other way. Remember I cut these in half. Do it here. Does that do it? Yep. Yeah. Ah, interesting. It doesn't do it as well. It, doesn't do it as well as that, did it? And this guy. And then I just need to pattern this guy around. <coughs> and my best bet for that, uh, yeah, curve pattern based on this sketch. And so let's go, uh, Uh, curve driven pattern and uh, can I do selection manager? Ah, some, t some commands don't let you do selection manager therefore I will I will uh, project that sketch to a new sketch and eliminate the parts of the path that I don't want it to use, which includes that and that. Uh, actually, though, I want one right there, so I'll just extend that to there. All right, and so now if I say Curve driven sketch. Yeah, pattern. Curve driven pattern. And uh, I say direction is. Yeah. Direction is. That's. Why isn't it that whole sketch? I guess I have to pick the whole sketch. Uh. Way, way down here. Why am I. Well, tangential. How about linear? Nah, kill linear. Fair enough. Eh, perfect enough. Okay. One more time. Curve driven pattern on that sketch bodies. Drown a pool. Not you. Alright, be that way. A lot of text that's going to be the hockey team. 
team chat. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I mean, I don't want to use that many, but I can use as many or as few as I want. So, oops, therefore I might as well load it up. And I can put them strategically wherever I want. Right? And, uh, okay. And, and, let's mirror these on the right plane. Mirror, bodies. Alright, so I get that extra pin in there. And I got this extra one down here that I don't need. But I don't care about the pin just because it's a little bit annoying to change. So it's not, uh, no harm, no foul. And I need to copy all these because I need to subtract them from both sides. And so let's do a move body copy. Copy all this stuff. Ooh. Ah, I know what I'll do. Because I was going to say, it's going to be a pain to select these now. Although I could just do, do it from the body's uh, list. Uh, and actually, that's what I'll do. Because I was going to do this. and then, But then I'd have to move it back after. Which is very slightly tedious. And so instead, I'll just leave them in the same place. And I'll select them. Ah, actually, you know what? I do like that better. I do like that better. Just because it's not only going to, they're not all going to be labeled the pattern. And so I'll have to figure out, I would have to figure out something. And the less I have to figure out, the better. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's uh, subtract from this these guys. And then let's subtract from this, these guys, except for the pin. Not the pin. I mean, I need to save one of the pins. Was that it? That's it. <coughs> save the pins. No. Alrighty, and so then I will hide this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and I will... Ooh, I kind of wish I had a chamfer on there, but let's worry about... Let's burn that bridge when we come to it. Uh, no, actually, I can do this without it. Oh, I need to move... I need to change this back to zero. So now they will be in the correct position. And now subtract. That's another little secret trick that I use. Not so secret. Now, like, tens of people are going to know that. And especially tricky because I didn't explain what I meant. So good luck with that. Um, but anyway, if you're following along, maybe you ca caught my workflow there. And subtract from this guy, this guy, and this guy. Should leave me my pin. Nice. Oh, two. Okay. <coughs> All right. So basically, that's it, right? Uh, let's save it. <coughs> I kind of want. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not going to let me put a chamfer on there. I should have done that differently. I know what I can do. Because it's not going to let me do that. I'd be amazed. What? <laughs> but why did it only do it on one side? This does not make sense. Alright, I'm doing my plan B.
All right, my plan B is let's go back to before my mirror and before this mirror. This is not a mirror. Why is uh why am I confused? I mean before this fillet. Oh, I didn't mirror it. That's why this that's why I can't find that mirror because I didn't mirror it. And uh that is not gonna do me any good. And that mirror is not going to do me any good. So, all right. Well, I have to do another mirror, which is fine. All right. I'm just going to go back to the end then. Except for this. And uh, why do... Uh, unimportant. Uh... And, uh, yeah, for a, se for a second I forgot what I was doing. And uh, let's say, like, uh, this much. And, uh, mirror this guy. <coughs> well, I can do that after. So now it's one body. Ah. And so if I extrude it, up to here, don't merge. And then on the front face. mirror that guy. What I'm doing is knocking the edge off the threads where it comes together so there's not like a high spot that causes a problem. I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to combine, subtract from that, that, And then I need to show, show, shift tab to show stuff, and then combine, subtract from that, that. And did that work? The second one didn't work. Why did, why did the second one didn't work? Because I subtracted it from the wrong thing. That's why. Garbage in, garbage out. <coughs> and let's show this guy. And hide this guy. Alright, so, now you can see. Ah. Huh. That's interesting. Why did it... I don't really care about that, but why did it... Oh, I know why I did that. Uh, because... I want to... Uh, what what did I do? Did I just hit tab on X? And I guess I did. I want to change this to say offset. Start from an offset of I don't know. Point two? No, that's too much. Point one. Point one. I think we are pro done with the model. This concludes the modeling portion of our video. But we're not done yet. Uh, well, I need to make a test coupon here, first of all. Let's, uh, I know what I can do. I know what I'm going to do. Let's save that. 
and I am going to show everything. I need to hide everything first. Show them all. And basically cut away most of it. And to do that, I want to put a sketch on my front plane and cut a rectangle and mid plane uh, flip side the cut mid plane that's far enough flip side the cut and let it select whoever it wants and let's uh, drag this down to the minimal minimal to get the test done so just above here, a little further because I want it to be reminiscent, reminiscent of the strength that it will see. And from here, let's go to there. And now I'm going to call this fixed and this fixed and uh, yeah, like so, and do this and this and that and the other thing mirror that rebuild I think I can bring this up higher ooh what I don't like about this is that the threads well what did I do there I'm confused That's the thing. Hard to do this. Uh, oh, I guess it, it's, uh, it doesn't like cutting at a certain part on, part on the threads, I guess. Uh, okay. And... <clears throat> oh, that's also going to be able to rotate. Let's uh, show this sketch. Did I? S I, didn't, I didn't mean to edit. It. I wanted to show it. Show it. Show it. Should be fine. Okay. So now I need to uh, put stuff on the build plate. Uh, what's the uh, constraints and this guy? to this guy, flip, okay, ah, no, 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 <clears throat> alright, so this was basically already there, but it was off by, it would have been off by like ten thousandths of an inch or whatever, but that's fine, and I'm just, I just want to get this out of the way, so I'm going to say put this like here here okie doke done with that and then move this guy and put this face 
I can just select this because it's quicker and easier. And flip it. And it needs to be somewhere else. Okay. And then... Uh, oops. Let's hide that guy for a minute. And then uh, meet this guy with, again, this guy. Ah. <coughs> mate is not the correct command. Move copy bodies. And then mate settings is the correct command. And that will go to here. Kind of already there, but moved by one ten thousandth of an inch. And uh, let's hide this guy and show this guy and then move copy bodies. Bodies to move this guy, main settings this guy to this guy and flip it. And I don't know if they're interfering. I'm going to assume they are. So I will go from there to there. Oh, that was interesting. It turned it. Ah. Distance. Perfect. Add. Okie doke. Ah, I need one more for the pin. Zzz. I need more than one pin. But that's fine. Uh, that guy. To there. Hmm. Just noticed a slight problem. I'll do this guy also, even though they look like they're the same guy. Alright, and then I'll move this guy over a little bit. And translate to here. Not a copy. So I realize what my problem is. Uh, let's go back to say like here. My problem is I have nothing holding this end together. Like all these pins up here are going to hold, but these, this thing's going to want to spread apart. So what I need is a ring. Be nice if I would have thought of it before, but you know what? I did not. But that's fine. Uh, all right. Um, whoa. Whoa. So I need a ring on here. So let's just uh, hide this guy for now. And this guy. And... Ah, non-planar, eh? Let's do this, then. Create a plane. I bet my plane is planar. Can't get more planar than a plane. Can you? Sounds like a good way to break AI. How can I get planer than a plane? Okay. And uh, let's offset this reversibly by, I don't know, let's make this ring 0.1. Should be pretty strong. And let's call it uh, 0.5. And you know what, though? Instead of that, I'm going to do this an ulterior way. I know it's not a word. I just made it up. Ulterior is a word not correct for that. Oh, well, maybe it would be. Anyway, 
I'm making up words. I'm not using real words. Well, some of them are, I guess. All right. there and we'll call this point oh what did I do four point oh three and we'll call this on that and uh, let's make these guys vertical and let's call this let's put this in line with this and let's put a radius on it what did I do like 0.06 okay this to go on that far. Let's what uh oh I didn't specify my angle. So we're gonna call that fifteen. And then uh, revolve it. And don't merge results. And then... <coughs> and then... And then... Copy it. Now oh, come on. Move copy bodies. And copy. Okay, no. And let's go to before that. And hide that guy. And then go to after it. And isolate this guy. Can I do it from here? No. Nope. I'll just tab, tab, tab. And so now I want to move face. And that is going to be hmm. one oh one five. Maybe too loose, maybe not. I don't think it'll be problematic anyway, because this will be like inside the weight and inside the bore of the weight. Probably technically not a bore because it was not bored. I wonder if it's still like boring. Does it have to be rotational? Is it a anyway? Enough of that. Uh, okay, and let's uh, show. Oh, <laughs> I need to roll past this. I should really reduce that pattern just because it takes a second to. Uh, well, actually, it didn't. All right, let's roll back to before this. And uh, for this, oh, no, that'll be fine. Um, Do a little something like this. Three 
build. And I'm going to I'm going to delete that guy. Ah, that's interesting. Okay. Those things happen. Okay. How did I do the, all that upside down? How? And, uh, well, that's interesting. unlike the other ones which I'd put all upside down annoyingly why uh oh say but you know what I do say is I'm gonna do it this way rather than going back oh, oops 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 rather than going back into all those move body commands which are tedious I will just add another move body copy move copy bodies and to this and flipper and okay and translate don't copy this guy and this guy order approximately there or actually precisely there and those guys are not quite touching so that's fine um, <coughs> I have two ah I'm missing half of this guy this is just, uh, oh, oops, uh, I missed that, is that this guy, or this guy, so much for doing it the easy way. Nice. Ah, but why? Why this? <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. I never subtracted those, goofball. I never subtracted those, did I? subtracted those. Ah, so I need to copy this guy and yeah. Three. Uh oh, that's this guy, yeah. Okay. Uh copy. 
and then subtract, subtract combine subtract from this this and why does that uh, what do I do combine them add from that subtract that I'm not sure why that doesn't look right why did it not do anything try it again on this one subtract from that subtract that I don't understand man plus uh what did I do a common Is it not large enough diameter? What's the diameter? 1.88.95. How did I do that? The OD, the outside diameter, is not. Oh, I know why. Haha. <laughs> because it did exactly what I told it to do. It's on that edge, which I cut away slightly a bit, but that, why does that matter? Slightly confused, but that's okay. I mean, it's, uh, well, whatever. first and select that and make that coincident okay now it should look right except for that cut this one with the wrong one I don't know how that was even possible noise I mean, that should be perfect. Save. All right, we're almost at two hours in this dumb thing. <laughs> I got a million texts that I got to check, but that's okay. And uh, am I? Okay, these are all the right way. Why is this guy? Okay. Let's, uh, oh. Uh, interesting. And let's, uh, uh did, did, did move copy body Zzz. on this one. And constraints. And this guy to here. No, no. To here. Nice. Nice. Oh, and I need to move this guy away from its buddy slightly. Translate. Good. No. No copy. Okay, so I have the two halves of the of that guy. Uh, I don't even really need those if I have these. All the holes are the same. I don't need these guys. I don't need this guy and this guy. Or I'll print two pins just because they're small and easy in case one of them fails. 
Uh, actually, though, that might cause a lot of unnecessary stringing, seeing as how it's nylon. Uh, compromise. Compromise. Bam. I don't mind stringing that direction. All right. S for save. Save as STL. gonna print this on uh, I was thinking about when I go out there do the old unboxing and do the uh, of the k1 max and then print it on that but that'll take more time I have to dig out my space heaters I haven't printed in the cold yet it's definitely cold out I don't know it's got to be 30 degrees out or something let's see let's see what the internet says the temperature is locally I do not have an indoor thermometer. I have one out, outside my shed, though. Yeah, 41 degrees. Oh, it's practically balmy out there. I got melon texts. Anyway. Uh, oh, bummer. Okay. Um, let's see. So that is saved. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this in Creality and uh, K1 not max just because I don't have the profile set up in my Creality print slicer yet for the uh, max and it's not unboxed yet and I have actual work to do and I have other things to do so I can't be goofing off with this all damn day and I have to set up the space heater in my heated enclosure and I also want to modify my heated enclosures I have sort of two cubes next to each other and uh, separated by a common insulated board wall and I figure if instead of if I get rid of that wall I can actually probably fit three printers in there so I think that's what I'm going to do but I'm not sure how yet how I'm going to support the ceiling if I take the middle wall out but uh, we'll figure that out when I get out there uh, oh, nice nylon is the last thing I printed with so let's uh, let's get this lined up for you guys, and I'll open, open. Oh, that's not the open, open, open. And is that really everything I need? I have the male, I have the female, I have this ring. And I have two pins. Okay. And it's already nylon. Nice. And so we slice it. And uh, so anyway, uh, if you like this video, please click like and sub subscribe and thumbs up and comment and, uh, and if ask any questions, suggestions, comments, ridicule. It's all good. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. I will be printing this and testing it, and then hopefully printing the entire kettlebell handle, and uh, we'll see how it works out. So, stay tuned. Alright, so I did my uh, test prints, and uh, I'm going to make a couple adjustments. Um... Let's see, let's go back to before any of this stuff. Uh, what happened? That didn't work. Was, uh, okay, I'm not sure, I was in a command there, I guess. Alright, so, um, Alright. Alright. 
So for one thing, these pins, these pins, um, were a little finicky, and so I'm going to change the a couple things I'm going to do about the pin. So is this the original? Uh, yes, it is. So one thing I want to do is put a bit of a chamfer here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because the where they come together, where the two halves come together, it seemed to sort of squish the material a little bit. And so I ended up with kind of a lip around this in that spot. So if I put this little uh, little chamfer here, and I'll leave you know, a shallower angle, let's see, 30... Um, I don't know if that's enough. Yeah. That should be good. It's probably not going to do any... Well, it'll, yeah, it'll be fine because that... Yeah, I was going to say it might not, not play well with the print bed, but then I realized that's a non-issue because... Um, oh, and I hope that didn't break too much. What is going on there? Oh, that's just where... That's because I have both of these here. Um, yeah, so where, what I was saying is where this, where it's touching the bed, it's going to be flat anyway. And even more so because I decided I'm going to also do this. I'm going to offset this, uh, reversed, and call it, uh, I don't know, 20 thousandths? Ah, I meant to make this construction... So now it's going to be even flatter. So like the overhangs here before I did that, I was getting it was a little messy, and I don't need these to be full diameter, not at all. So that should be good for that. Um, I'm also going to, yeah, that's already there. Okay, I'm also going to move the ends in a little bit. So now, just to make sure they're not pushing at the ends on stuff, um, I also, is that this guy, what did I, I only did 10 thousandths, jeez, I'm going to go 15, hopefully that's good enough, and so that's one change. Alright, so let's see, what else did I want to do here? Uh, let's again go back to here. Not far enough. Uh, oh, I just don't have the stuff shown. Or, I don't know. What else did I want to do? So I increased the clearance on the pins, but I want to increase the clearance on this also. Um, okay, so that would be this move face. Ultimately. probably increase the clearance on these threads also, I think. But so this guy, the subtractor for it, so what did I do here? 15. I'm going to do... So hopefully that's enough to grab. 
And I also want to do the same thing on the threads. I'm going to open these up as well. I'll have to come back to this. Alright, so the other thing I wanted to do is increase the... basically decrease this guy. Uh, I guess I could just do that the easy way. And... A little something like this. And flip side to cut, and select this guy and this guy. Did it do anything? <laughs> so I should be able to now, oops, now adjust it by this. I blinked. Did it move? something. Good. So that should be better. I also want one more gap here too. I think that seems like I already did that. Okay, and uh, any others? I think I also need... Oh! That's not good. Yeah, so because I did that with the chamfer there, that fouled that up pretty good. Um, so is the other one already there? Yes, that guy is there now. Uh, actually, though, I can I can do this. So once I copied that, and then I hide this guy, and then on the copy, I can what is up? Okay, I can't, I can't select that face. Aha. Show that. Alright, now, I'll create a plane there, a circle there. Well, actually, I'll just project geometry. Go to... here, and uh, select only this guy, alright, and so now, does it break that, nice, so now if I go to the end, or not the end, but back to, huh, we broke a couple features there. But that's okay. It's back to before this. So now... I have... 
this relief here, but these here are fine. All right, and so the other thing I want to do is put a chamfer here on both of these pieces so they uh, so don't get sort of that elephant's foot sort of fouling the outside of the threads. And I should also do it on the outer parts also. So let's just uh, do that here. That's the wrong key. Well, why not you? And uh, hit that guy. Let's, pr uh, let's do 45. And I forgot one of the edges. So that's here and here. And then again, here and here. And I think I already did the outsides of the threads. The similar knock off the edge over there. I recall. Let's see. Huh, I didn't? Uh, oh, I think I did. I bet that's this right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Huh. I thought... Okay, I did there. But not these. Interesting. If I hide that, I think, yeah, I think I tried, I think I tried this and it didn't work. Yeah, I don't want to select all those edges. I wonder if uh, I can, one of these, uh, why did that not pop up? Where, where? Why? <laughs> Usually it gives you the pop-up to select a bunch of edges. And it is not. Why would it... Why would it do that to me? Huh. Well, <clears throat> that's unfortunate. Because I'm absolutely not selecting 8,000 edges manually. Uh, I'm going to say, screw it, pun accepted. Alright, well anyway, I did all those things. And uh, I don't know why things aren't functioning the way they're supposed to be. My uh, shift tab seems to come and go for revealing the parts. What if I rebuild it? Oh, it doesn't like it in section. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that edge select thing was not cooperating. But I think we're good otherwise. Let's uh, go to the end. Let's see what we have. Ooh. Alrighty then. This is supposed to... Okay, why, uh, I don't know why it doesn't like that. And, uh, this guy... that's trying to do. I could investigate. I don't care. Let's, uh, okay, that's those guys. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I want to suppress this body delete. Let's have these guys remaining. And why are they all, 
not aligned properly. That's what all these features are. Huh. This does not make sense. I'll just uh really Okay. Let's move this guy. Like so. Flip. And let's just make this concentric. And all right, that actually put it in the right spot. And okay. And I think this guy must have been this guy. I'm not sure. Okay, that's both of those. And this face. Okay. We'll call that good. And then I need to flop this guy over. I don't know why it's missing. It's position. Remove this guy. Uh, what? I guess I'll copy it. I'm not sure how these features went away, but that's fine. Remove this guy. Constraints. Okay, is that everything? I have the holes to test, I have the pins to test, I have the ring and its mating parts to test, I have the internal and external threads to test. That should be all of the tests that I need to do. They're a little spread out for my taste, but probably fine, but I'll move them. And where is my memory card? Oh, is it in my pocket? No. Well, I gotta go find my uh, memory card, but that's enough for now. Stay tuned. This video may be over. It may not be. I may deliver. May I may release it in parts. I may not release it in parts. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll edit it. I'll probably piece these together and uh, I'll probably add oh I just realized I didn't do it at 1080 so that'll have to be a separate video the results video because my camera will not record in the same resolution which is fine uh, so anyway stay tuned and uh, like subscribe all that YouTube -y stuff stay tuned